One thing I want to do more this year for you guys is to continue to give you the content you guys ask for. So if there's anything else you guys want to see on my channel, let me know in the comment section below. I also want you guys to leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Also, before we begin, make sure you guys hit that sub button and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to break down the players that have a really good chance at getting an upgrade in the coming roster updates, guys. And at the end of this video, we are going to reveal some of the younger guys that will have a really good chance to get upgraded later in the season. Some of those cards will be really good long-term investments so stack up on them right now and by the mid-season or even later in the year you will be sitting on some fat stubs to use on packs or whatever you guys want i'm gonna try to do this every single week guys so also if you have any other suggestions on players to look at let me know in the comment section below too and i'll certainly look at them for you so i took the time to look at everyone's stats right now right the league leaders and determined the players that could get upgraded by looking at their stats in MLB The Show 18. So weighing their stats from the last three years and then looked at their stats in MLB The Show 18 this year and looked to see if they matched up well or not. And the first player on our list is one of the ones that could potentially be a gold in the very first update, guys. He's already a 79 overall. 80 overall is a gold this year. Now, I have a really good feeling that this guy is going to be a gold. Obviously, disclaimer, guys, these are all not for sure. We never know what SDS is thinking in terms of upgrades. We were always asking last year, why didn't this guy get upgraded? And why did this guy get upgraded? So just a little disclaimer, guys. Don't go taking your pitchforks out in my comment section below and say, oh, you suck. He didn't go gold. He didn't go silver. He didn't go diamond and whatnot. But I hope you guys, regardless, enjoy this episode. If you guys want me to do more, leave a like and let's get started. All right, guys, the first guy on our list, Washington Nationals. It is Adam Eaton, currently at a 79 overall could very well be an 80 overall in the coming weeks here. He is leading the NL in average at 471. He's got two home runs, five RBIs, and is a career 286 average. Ian is off to a hot start for the season. And with the two home runs and five RBIs right now, he could get a slight boost in the power. He's already got really good fielding at 83 and 81 arm. That's actually really good to look at because it will only take a little bit in the hitting stats of an upgrade to get upgraded because those fielding stats don't move too much in MLB The Show. So his contact's already really good. The only thing we're, that we're looking at is here is the two home runs that he has in the season already early in the season. He could get a slight boost in power, which in turn will give him, give him enough, enough just for a one stat boost to 80 overall. And his price right now is at a 781. If he was to get that 80 overall gold, I don't think his price is going to go up much at all. He's not a guy like Ryan Zimmerman who's got power, like I said, which is more appealing to people in MLB The Show. He's not a Trey Turner who's got that massive speed. So I would say maybe around the Sean Doolittle range, 1,500. But if he continues to get those home runs this year, you can see that power really climb. But you got to remember, this is a guy not really known for power in his career. Contact also could get a little bit of a boost. Maybe right now, I'm thinking 85 versus right and a 78 versus left, which is still very good for a gold. One guy that we can compare him to who's already an 80 overall is Elvis Andres. So pretty close to the same stats. And like I said, a little power boost. And even Elvis Andres has a little less fielding too. So just a little bit of a power boost for Adam Ian and even a little bit of a contact boost could really make him an 80 overall by the very first roster update. So the next man on our list is Scooter Jeanette, and he only makes our list because he was a gold last year for a brief moment, I believe, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below, but right now, he's a 75 overall, but Scooter Jeanette is very, very underrated. Played really well last year after being traded to the Reds from the Brewers. And this year so far, he is batting a 471. He hits both sides very, very well. So if we can even out that contact versus left a little bit better with the versus right, you can see that boost right there. He's only struck out once this year, so Vision could get a little bit of a boost also. He's a career 281 hitter, so a very, very good hitter, guys. And like I said, he was a gold last year. We're not going to go into a lot of the details with Scooter Jeanette just yet, but his fielding, his fielding could be what 
holds him back this year. It is at a 64 overall. Again, guys, like I said, if you already have a high fielding and low batting stats, it's very easy to get upgrades if you're hitting well. Guys, moving on to our very first player that could go silver in the very first update. We've got Nick Ahmed. And, it, and it's actually really weird that he's on this because he is only a 230 career hitter. That is the only thing that's holding him back. But he is at a 72 overall bronze. Only three tiers away from silver. And this year, so far, he is batting a 471. A lot of players batting 471, guys. And one thing that catches my eye so far this year, look at his contact versus right. It's at a 36 right now, right? He is actually batting a 500 versus righties this year. So that could get a huge boost right there in the very first update. Like I said, though, the only thing holding him back is that .230 career average he does have one home run this year but this could be a possible great investment he is at a 99 stop by now and from the looks of it silvers will stay around the 500 and 600 area for 75 overall so you could literally make some good change here if you invest early and if this happens now the next two guys right here guys are from the same team and they both have played well in the last two seasons the first one on the list is jose martinez who's already a 74 overall another guy that could very well be a silver in the very first update another good investment here if silvers still stay at around 500 stubs because he is currently at 150 by now jose martinez after watching this series and after watching some highlights from last year is a very very tough out and you can kind of already see that in his contact stats at 70 overall and 79 versus left this verse left is very good at 79 overall obviously righty versus righty is a little bit less at 70 overall but he is batting a 444 this year and hitting very well against righties he is a career 324 average. That is very good in the last two seasons, guys. In my case for Jose Martinez right here is he is already a 74 overall. So another one of those guys that have an easy chance to get a silver in the next update. So buy now, hold, and sell later. The next guy on the list, guys, a 78 overall, Paul DeYoung. Okay, guys, another guy that has played very well in the last two seasons. A younger guy and it's I already see that people are already taking a liking in Paul DeYoung his price is at a 1775 that's almost double a 79 overall right now guys and he is hitting a 444 average with three home runs in a career 292 and correct me if I'm wrong but his feeling at 68 overall is very low right now he seems to be a very very good shortstop and so if his arm and fielding gets a little bit of a boost he's already got the power and hitting stats to make him an 80 overall goal so keep an eye on paul de young guys like i said people are already taking a liking in him i myself have already five paul de youngs and i actually bought him early i think i bought paul de young at about 800 stubs each so i'm already making a profit from this guy right here so if he ever gets to an 80 overall gold, let's compare him to some of the golds that we have right now. Tommy Pham at 2,450, 82 overall. Yadier Molina at, at 3,000. He'll probably be around this range right here. So there's still a little bit of a chance, a little bit of a spread right there to make some extra stubs. The last guy on our list, guys, I know we might have missed some. We probably missed some. But if you have any other suggestions, leave them down in the comments section below. I will keep adding to the list and dropping people from week to week i will not go over the list like this every single week i'll have i'll mention the names and then if we have anyone added or anyone dropped from the list i will explain those ads and drops so the coming episodes will be much shorter than the one today so the last guy on the list san francisco giants playing very very well this first week we've got 76 overall joe panic another guy with very high fielding and right now he does have low power because he's not known for power hitting, but he does have three home runs, batting a 4-2-1 average. And the funny thing is, he actually has two home runs versus lefties. He has a really good 95 overall vision already. So if he can keep that average up, that contact is going to go up. And if he continues to hit home runs, he could have a slight power boost. Panic will be one of those guys that may take a couple weeks if he continues to play this well to get upgraded but another guy to keep an eye out for a possible goal now let's move on to our young guns section young guns have the potential to be one of the best players in the game but the way sds works is they they wait a little bit longer for these younger guys to upgrade them but today we have four players that have a possibility of being a gold silver in the coming months 
in 2018. The first guy on our list is Mitch Hanager, guys. Gonna be a very good player for the Seattle Mariners. Already has really good stats. Pretty even all the way around the wheel. A career 275 hitter. 462 average to begin the season. Two home runs and it has only struck out one time this year. One of those guys that you need to buy early and wait for those upgrades to happen. He could very well be a gold by the end of the year. Next young gun on the list is Matt Olson. Already a 74 overall, so he could very well be a silver. And actually the very next update this card has very very good power but low contact and low fielding for first base obviously first base low fielding but that contact stat has room to grow guys so matt olsen is currently batting 286 so not very good so far this year at the beginning of the season compared to the other guys on the list but he does have one home run he is already a 74 overall guys so another one of those really good upgrades really good investments at a 200 buy now could very well be 600, 700 here in the next week. Next guy on the list, you guys probably already know, and his price says it, Reese Hoskins is already a 77 overall after two years in the league. His price is kind of steep right now for a silver, 1,760, but for good reason. He is hitting for a very good average right now for the Phillies. Only has one home run, I believe, but we all already know that is gonna be improving this year. So by now, hold until later, and he will probably be a gold by the end of the season if he continues to play well. The next guy on the list, already making some headlines in MLB. You guys probably have already guessed it. His price has doubled overnight. We have Shohei Otani. Already has one win on his stat line. A .67 whip. He is very, very hard to hit. Yes, he did give up that one home run for three runs, but it was lights out after that. Like I said, .67 whip very hard to hit he is batting an average of 444 with one home run in nine at bats he right now he looks to be the real deal guys at a 75 overall he is the most expensive silver in the game just looking at his stats right now very low hitting stats at a 444 average i feel like he at least should be at a 70 and 70 contact a little bit more power maybe i don't know his power seems to be good his vision will improve, and that might just push him over to an instant gold, guys. One of the guys that you need to invest right now also and save for later, because you just never know what's going to happen with Shohei Otani. But, all right, guys, we have one more section in this episode that we want to talk about, and it's the should be diamonds but are not diamonds. You know what I'm saying? So, like, diamonds from last year that aren't diamonds this year. Blah, 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 or the guys that should be diamonds right now is what I'm trying to say. So, the first guy on the list is George Springer. We're not going to go through the stats much. We already know, but this guy right here was a diamond last year, and he got snubbed of some stats. He should be at least an 85 diamond right away. His price is already very good anyways at an 84 gold at 11k by now, but I think George Springer has a chance to be a diamond again this year. And one more guy on the list, guys, and then we're going to call it a day who I think should be a diamond or will be a diamond in the coming updates. We have the New York Yankees, Luis Severino, 83 overall, very, very good pitcher, guys, at only 24 years old. He's got room for improvement, obviously, and I think if he plays very well this season, he could very well be another one of those 85 overall diamonds. All right, guys, so if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. If you guys agree or disagree, leave them also down in, down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let's try to get 300 likes on this video, and I'll do another one next week. Guys, leave a sub, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.